She's our girl at Eurovision this year. It's May Muller. Hello. Hello, Scott. Fancy seeing you again. I know. <laughs> we have to stop running into each other like this. <laughs> is it all starting to sink in now? Do you know what it, it is? I think I'll never get over the sort of like excitement, constant air of like frazzled, frazzledness. But I think, you know, we're really like into rehearsals now and I can really see it all coming together and I'm just like getting more and more excited as it comes. I just want to do it now. <laughs> for them, uh, for them choruses, we need it to go off in the arena. Oh, it's going to go off. Because it's going to blow the roof off. Yeah. Are you it's, learning? Are you learning some dances? I've been learning a little, a few dances here and there, a few dances here and there. You know, when it all got announced, I messaged you, didn't I, going, are you all right? Because this, I know this is a lot, and you just put, I am so happy. Oh, I mean, I was. I mean, do you know what? Obviously, it is daunting when you, in anything you do, you are putting yourself up for, you know, being judged, and you want, you want people to like it, but, yeah. so I did have those nerves, but then again, it was like, everyone was just so, I was blown away by the support and you know it was just a really it just kind of reiterated like this is what I'm meant to be doing this is the right thing mm. and it and I know and I know it felt good to me but to know that it felt good to other people I was like okay cool like I'm good now now I can just like enjoy enjoy the ride yeah <laughs> when we filmed that interview for the TV in secret the one that went out yes, yes, very before secret. the apprentice wasn't it secret I remember you left and then they were like you can't leave now you have to wait like 20 minutes before. Yeah. and I was like oh I quite like this I feel like I'm you know a spy it felt like Bond didn't it it did there was one bit where I had to film outside Radio 2 and I had to say your name Oh yeah, which is May Muller before it was announced. So I was like, "This year's entry is May," Muller. but then um, they were like, "Well, you just need to whisper it." I'm like, "Well, that's going to look weird on the telly if I go this year's entry is May." Muller. <laughs> so um, we decided against that and we just put it in the voiceover. That's like one thing that I did learn, though. I think watching it from, you know, as a viewer and a fan, and then being part of it, like I really didn't realize how much of like a huge secret it is. Babe. And it really is. I was like, this is like real. This is real deal. Wait till you get to Liverpool. <gasps> oh my gosh. Now, the thing that people seem to really love uh, from the interview that we did was the fact that you were the little girl in Mika's Grace Kelly video. What was working with him like? Oh my gosh, I was in love or with him. Or can you remember? I do, was, no, I actually, I do. I remember it really clearly and I remember being in love with him. Mm. That energy of just being on set and the hustle and bustle of it all. I just remember like, just I just loved that feeling. And I remember being quite nervous, but I, I just was like, oh, I like this. I'd mm. like to be around I, it more. I want to do more of this. Yes. And at that point, obviously I, I knew, I, I kind of knew I wanted to perform, but at that point when I was on set, I was like, I just want to be around this. Like, yeah. I don't really know how yet, but if it's, I just, I love the energy. Quite addictive, isn't it? It really, it is, it is. Mika was obviously one of the presenters of Eurovision last year because he is massive in Italy and he did the halftime show. Um, I know, it was a then, full circle moment. Right, I know, but then uh, shortly afterwards he did a gig in London. I went to see it. It was one of the best nights of my life. He is so good on stage. I've never seen him live and love. I would love, I would love, love. And it's next just time he's in London, yeah. we've got to go. We've got to go. In fact, I may have a message from someone who heard you were coming in today. Hey Scott, hey May, this is Mika. <gasps> I wanna just say a massive congratulations for everything, for the song so far, for the song for Eurovision, for being the UK entry. I think you're gonna do brilliantly. It's a wild, wild experience. Um, Scott can tell you all about it, uh, but I think you're gonna have fun. And uh, I just wanna say, going back all those years when you were the girl in the, <laughs> in the brightly colored dress sitting on the piano. Um, in an interview, you said that you were cast because you had funny teeth, but it's not true at all. <laughs> <laughs> the truth is that even from such a young age, it was so clear that you had chutzpah, that you were a star. I'm wishing you all the best. And I'm not gonna say good luck because we never say good luck, but go on, kill it. Make everyone proud, big hug. <gasps> oh, that's so lovely. I oh. love him a lot. Oh, my goodness. I That is just, oh, that's so nice. He's <laughs> so brilliant, right? Honestly, I've got a bit emotional there. That was really, what a full circle moment. I mean, that's on, it's like 15 years ago. It was like yeah. 
Oh, that was really nice. I know. We love you, Mika. We should play, we should play Grace Kelly now, really, shall we? Oh, we absolutely should. Here it is. I'm ready to. I want to talk to you. The last time we talked, Mr. Smith, you were 